Well, having a wrong type of massage session can be one of the worst things you can experience here in Thailand. It can spoil your mood, your body, and your pocket too. Well then, what's the solution? Relax. In today's vlog, I'm going to share with you all the information you need to know about the best and worst type of massages in Thailand. And hence, avoid the worst and enjoy the good ones. Are you ready? Let's check them together. Now before we talk about the types, I have made couple of vlogs talking where to have massage or let's say good massage sessions in Thailand. So we won't waste time on this topic. But in general, as a reminder, most of the shops, the normal shops will give you acceptable into good level session. It always depends on the person who is making the massage. And in the same shop, you can have different levels. This is about normal shops that you can find a lot in Bangkok and less in Phuket and Pattaya. Well, the other shops that are crowded with nice looking ladies and tempting welcomes, here things are everything but a massage session. So we're gonna talk about all the types of shops, but first, let us start with the best types that you should not miss in Thailand. Now of course without any doubt, foot massage is one of the best if not the best that you should try in Thailand. But wait, it could be the worst if you choose the wrong massage shops. Let me give you an example of what could happen. Well, wherever I go in Thailand for filming, vlogging or working, I end up my day by choosing a random massage shop and try the service. And one time I was in Phuket having a massage session in a dark ambience room, I heard the man next to me asking who was doing the session for him to put more pressure. And the man replied, you want real hard massage, you should pay more. And the customer asked why, then what is this, a game? He answered, this is just a relaxed massage, nothing more. Okay, here are two things. First, the shop is crowded with tourists in Patong area, and the ones who were performing the massage session were worried about the time and money, not about the quality of the service. Second, this is Phuket, not Bangkok. If you want to choose a shop to have a real foot massage, then avoid the cheap crowded places. They exist just only for fun, nothing more. Now another combination that you can have which is great is foot and head massage together, which in some shops will cost you around 300 Thai baht, one and a half hour of relaxing time, one hour foot and half an hour head, but yet again, nowhere to do them unless it's waste of time. We are still talking about the good types of massages. I will talk about the worst types at the end. Full body oil massage. This you should not miss in Thailand. It's one of the best relaxing types. And if you want the real experience, take the session which is more than an hour. Now here, the prices differ a lot. In normal shops, it's from 350 to 500 baht. But in fancy spas, it could start from 800 till it reached 3000 and more. Why? Because of the oil types that they use. In normal shops, you can choose the type, while in fancy spas, you can. And it can be hot, cold or mild. So whatever your budget is, try one of them. And one more thing. After you finish the massage session, don't take a shower directly. Let your body relax with the oil. So give some time and you will feel the difference. Here we come into a fancy type that I have experienced it recently, and that is hot onsen bath, and after that a coconut oil massage. Now here, things are a little bit costly, but it works. First, let me say what you will experience. A hot onsen bath, around 1 hour. You can adjust the temperature as it suits your body, and relax. After 1 hour, your body will be like a sponge, then time to a hot coconut oil massage. This one will relax you more, because already your body is hot and soft, so imagine the experience. 
almost 3 hours after a shower and a tea or a sweet. I am sure once you have it, you won't forget the experience. So go for it. Now of course you are wondering till now where is Thai massage. We are in Thailand and Thai massage should be on the top of the list. Well, listen to this story. Now lately I was having a massage session and while I was trying to relax, I heard some arguments coming from inside. Most probably from the Thai massage session, where couples were arguing about the type of massage they paid for. And it was obvious that they were upset from the service. Well, in reality, the problem was not from the shop, but from them, because they chose a type they should not. Thai massage can have two ends, good and bad. So if you are not into heart massage or your body can't handle pressure, then before you start the session, tell them to be soft. And even when you feel at the session that your body can't handle it, tell again softer. Trust me, she or he who is doing the massage won't be upset, cause it's much easier for them. Unless you will have a body pain after the session. Now if you can handle the pressure, then go for a real Thai massage type. So choose carefully, soft, mild or strong. And don't get upset or argue after the session, as I mentioned in the story. Heads and neck massage also is like Thai massage. There is the soft one where you just sit on a relaxing massage chair and get a relaxing head and neck massage. Or the second type you sleep and you have high pressure hands on your head and neck with some intensive moves that can crack your neck. So choose carefully and know what you will get before you are under the mercy of someone's hands. Now let's talk about a type of massage you might never heard about it. It's called aloe vera massage. This massage is performed with aloe vera gel, which is a cooling gel and usually it's very soft type of massage. In another word, it's for the purpose of cooling your body, if you have a sunburn from the beach. So they try to cool your body. Now if you don't have a sunburn, then it's totally useless and could be one of the worst massage types that you can have in Thailand. Okay, here we come into a kind which is more than a massage. We can say adult types, which is soapy or noodle, kind of the same. If you are into such kind, of course they are available in Thailand. But 90% of these types that are available are a waste of time and money, high priced and worthless. So you better make your researches good and read the reviews, so that if you want to know what really they are, you end up in the right place. There are a couple of well-known in Bangkok and one in Phuket in Patong area. And their price start from 2500 till it reaches 6 to 7000 depending on the service and other factors. Now my last advice for you will be avoid the massage shops at the touristic areas like Patong in Phuket or Central Pattaya or even Koh San Road in Bangkok. These places are not for the best experiences in Thailand. Cheap yes, crowded yes, but as for the service, most of the time too bad. Go for the normal shops and if you want to pay a little bit more, try the well-known spas for some special relaxing sessions. 
but yet again, you will find many good shops especially in Bangkok, cheap and worth it. And never go for the types that will hurt your body rather than make you relax. So my friends, I hope this vlog was helpful for you and now you have some idea about where to have massage sessions and what type is the best for you. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.